Hi guys. Welcome to the garden guys. You guys want to have a seat on all of these benches? Today we are going to start with a tasting. Have you guys done a tasting before? Yes. yes. So we are going to taste peas and radish today, but first we have to get hand sanitizer. We started the garden here at Mayberry almost 10 years ago, and it started when my oldest daughter, Simone, she was a kindergartner here at Mayberry, and she came home from school one day and she was a bit concerned about all the sweets and the treats that they were eating at school. And so it prompted this great conversation between the two of us of you know, what we eat not only impacts our individual health, but it also impacts the collective learning environment. Let's like take a, a little bite. Oh. Oh. You've never tried it before? How do you think it tastes? I don't really like it. It's good, just it, it's a little bit spicy. But I kind of love it. It's really awesome. I was able to teach uh, when I went to Freeman. I did a, a Teachers for Tomorrow, so I've already had a little experience being back here, but it's just been really special, especially because this garden wasn't even around when I was a student, and so to be able to have learned a lot about gardening and then bring that to my elementary school has been really impactful. And to be teaching alongside some of my former teachers is very cool. Yummy. It's yummy. The peas. Yeah. So raise your hands if we tried it. Everyone, everyone tried it? Okay, perfect. Awesome. We can put our hands back down. Thank you so much for being adventurous today. Today we have a tasting, so we're, it's like a special snack time where we're encouraging kids to try different fruits, or today it's vegetables. The peas are don't have much flavor. They don't have much flavor. I think the lattices are a little spicy. Yeah, I see. Today we're going over the compost. Great job. So we've just had our food, and any food that we did not eat today, we put into our compost. Can anyone tell me, raising our hands, what is compost? What's the importance of compost? Yes. Dirt. It's dirt. Compost? We reached out to a great community partner, um, Greater Richmond Fit for Kids, and they have had the experience of doing school gardens all around the region. So everyone, I want you to go up. It helps. Fit for Kids is a nonprofit organization, and our mission is to improve children's health and wellness through programming that promotes physical activity and healthy eating. So the garden really started off as the healthy eating part. We were always promoting the tastings and promoting children being able to grow food from seed to harvest and see where real food comes from. And what's beautiful about Fit for Kids is that they develop this curriculum for the garden that tie into all the SOLs that the students are learning. They tailor it for every different grade, becomes more and more sophisticated and advanced as they get older. And so they are, it, this is like our outdoor classroom. Um, it's hands-on, it's fun, it's interactive, it's delicious and uh, it's just part of our educational experience here at Mayberry. What do you do with nitrogen? What you jump up. Nitrogen? nitrogen, we're jumping up. We have a game today called the NPK game, um, and that stands for nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. We teach them that nitrogen as a vitamin for the plant helps them grow up. The phosphorus helps the plants grow down, and the potassium helps the plants all around, all of their parts. Perfect, and then for Potassium, you can either spin or do a little like jump spin, right? We don't want you to get too dizzy because we're kind of close to our garden, all right? I'm going to season the top. Awesome. I love Today we're doing like a mending soil. So we're adding all these uh, ingredients to make like a super food for the soil. Awesome. Thank you guys for helping us make this super food. I love it. I hope that they're able to breathe more in their day to have something outside that isn't a recess time, they're still in class, but it's, I try and make it really relaxed and, and, and interact with nature in a respectful way, in a partnership, right? For kids to learn that you are an integral part of the ecosystem and you contribute, you can compost, you can help the world, and it starts with a garden for me. Yeah, it's whispering alfalfa. <laughs>